that one. Welcome back to Vampire. So, we gotta head out and save our wife in the Pembroke Hospital. Hopefully, we are <sighs> capable of uh, dealing with uh, the danger and threats we have to deal with on the way. It is not a simple matter by any means. We might even need to dodge uh, some encounters because the game is getting hard. And uh, Dr. Reed need to, needs to get stronger, but we also need to pay attention to the map. I'm going the right way. Okay. Best Leech, boy! Watch out! Yeah, we gotta kill that guy. Oh. Snap time! Oh my god! Oh, come on, really? Can you just chill out? Yep, I'm about to go for the snack. Yeah. Just do another heal. So, it's not gonna be an easy ride. I'm going the right way. Gotta take a left. Hmm. Honestly, try to go through whatever that is. Yep, that's a good way to kill him. Um, yep, I'm just gonna take your stuff. We, can, we need a way to upgrade our weapon. Do we wanna pop by Lady Ashbury just to make sure she's okay? Because the Ascalon Club is quite cross with me. I wouldn't put it past them if they tried to hurt Ashbury. Apparently she is just uh, at the hospital as well. Who knows? If you're here, we might as well say hi. If she's here. What a fancy car. Oi! You here? Can we rest at her ha at, <coughs> at her house, I suppose? Almost at our house. <sighs> and because I said to old Bridget that I Love her, not old Bridget, my wife, Lady Ashbury. Um, then um, I don't know. There's a very decent chance that she's gonna die instantly. That's just how it works in games and and movies and whatnot. That are not uh, romantic. Lady Ashbury is not here, right? She's not here. Okay. We're looking for her pointlessly. Yeah, I need to buy some pipes. Not sure from who. But I gotta get some. To upgrade my club. Okay. Oh, look at that. I think we gotta kill him. There's one of them! Get him with him, Fred! Fight him! Nice. What the hell is that? I lost blood, I lost everything. Okay, I didn't lose everything. Look at that. Okay, that, that, that's a lot. We're gonna go away. What the hell is that? Can we kill this guy? Oh, can we get some help from him? Nice. But the others don't even give a damn now. Alright, let's just heal. 
I'm sorry about this, mister. You should have never joined the Vampire Hunter Brigade. Oh, lead rod. That's exactly what we need. Do you want to hunt down the other guys? Maybe they have lead rods. Actually, I'm going the wrong way anyway. So, yeah, we gotta go back. Oi! You guys wanna fight me? Over there! This yeah. one ain't vermin! No, what is this? What the hell? These guys never run out. Die, Vermin! I don't wanna die. What the hell? I kill die. one. Two more show up. Watch out for the smoky bomb, guys. Maybe you shouldn't go into it. Alright. Hopefully not. Oh boy, it did hurt. It did hurt a lot. I gotta kill that guy. You just chill out. I'm going toward you. No. Okay. I'm sorry, I was just checking my map while I was uh, um, having a drink. Hope you don't mind. I'm not trying to be rude. Uh, we gotta turn around and just go that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go that way. Well, we have other choices. We can go this way. And just keep going. Take a oh, well, take a left when we can. Just we, we need to go through the bridge. And after this, after the bridge, wait. Uh, no, we need that bridge. Oh my god, why am I down? We gotta go up. Seriously, I thought this was a shortcut. Yeah. <sighs> Never mind that. We have a uh, plan B. There's gonna be some guys here, right? Come on, let me through. Who's it gonna stop? Oh. Some guys just spawned in. Oh, I was actually going to the wrong place anyway. Oh, mates, what's up? What is this truck? Other than the hunters here. Stop! Oh! Don't do that! It's one of them! I'm just gonna kill him behind this truck. Oh my god! What the hell? So rude! Heels. I can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. We need to go away. What? Obviously I wanna target this guy. It's quite tanky. Rest in peace. Don't even know what I got. Common handle part? Meh. Yeah, just this way. Easy. We should go down. Damn, this city is uh, quite dangerous at night. Oh! Finally, who the hell are you? I don't even know. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. 
So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. I don't have time for this. Goodbye. I need Mr. to save Blight. the hospital. Take care of yourself. Okay, I wasn't. Well, I was coming here as, as fast as I can. Newton, we might talk to you later. But I have blood time for this. Apparently there's... Okay, never mind that. You got some lead pipes? No this evening, is an emergency. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Yes, saving lives. Oh yeah, hospital I'd has like been attacked. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. Not reliable gun, what are you talking about? We just need some pipes. God damn it, he doesn't have it. Okay, let's see what you got. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save... You say the same thing anyway. Hospital has been attacked. Are you alright? I heard the hospital was attacked. For months I said this day would come. We should have armed ourselves. Oh, it Riots happened. Are rising. The end is near. What? That's it? Goodbye, Milton. Fuck you, Milton. I was looking for more information than that. Wait, what? Um... Guys, you're in trouble. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Poor Dr. Swansea. He was the only one to stand up to those brutes. And now they've dealt with him. Where is Dr. Swansea? I don't know. I hid behind a tent. I saw nothing. That was... That was wise. You Goodbye, did, You did well. Swansea! Where are you? <laughs> Despite never showing up for work ever, ev like ever, ever, I think, I, well, well, especially because of that, I think I kind of owe you. Should I, should I make a better hammer? Can I make a better hammer? <laughs> We're gonna check out Swansea, but we got priorities. Oh, well, we can't craft those, can we? I'm just gonna craft some of those. Okay. Can we break down parts? Oh no. Oh, lead rod, that's what we need. No, 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 no. Lead rod. Fuck the rest. Let's stick. I don't care. Baggy bag. Sure, whatever. Uh, let's upgrade our main weapon. We need that. Level 5, what can we do? Aluminum part. We need aluminum part. Can we get that from here? Yeah. Perfect. Amazing. Okay. We're done. Where are, you? Where are you? My love. Well, my first love, but... Or should I name my hammer? Elizabeth? Or I? Two-handed. Cut girl. I just call it a mace. Man uh, stamina consumption by 10%. Or stuns more. Both valuable. I just usually prefer doing damage with it. We can up the. Yeah, let's just let's just make sure that we deal a lot of damage with it. That that's uh, what I want. That's why I don't have an a, an, uh, an offensive skill. So I I can just use my kick-ass weapon and uh, pretend. Well, I'm just focused on defensive skills, I suppose. Swansea, I'm coming here. I definitely didn't take a. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Those bastards. Peek. What have they done to Edgar? Am I crafting table? Oh my God, Swansea, where are you? Why is it on the ground? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Oh, I don't even know how to trigger that thing. Oh V, yeah. And I, I never click on that. Ooh, I don't burn in the light. 
Why is it so bright? Oh, it must be the sign. I guess. We just gotta check out outside. Not sure why it's so bright. The, come on. Cannot be the moon. It's almost like it's daylight. Whatever. Follow the blood trail of Swansea. Swansea, where are you? Wait. I'm looking for Swansea. I lost track of him already. Oh. Thomas of Elwood? Oh, no. Where's Swansea? Okay. He went this way. Okay. Ooh, upstairs, of course. We've never been there. What are we doing upstairs? I'm coming, Swansea! Wow! Fancy elevator that no one uses. What the hell, Swansea? Do you keep this from me? That was probably wise. I would have uh, used that elevator to ride up and down. Quite a bit. What? Why even have windows? Seems like we are underground. Whoa. Uh, 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 Ultraviolet uh, curtains and ori calcum powder. Uh, Dr. Swansea's uh, always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You know jack you shit. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. You wanna fight me? Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. What? I bet that just booze. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. But he might have Close some information. Eyes. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Wow, that hurt. Okay, I th I think we found the new cheater. Find Joffrey. Oh, really? Your poisonous bite is useless on me. <laughs> Should I stay behind him? Okay. You're gonna stand behind him. I know. Oh, snack time. Come on, Reed. Try something else. Oh, this is working so well. I need to. Oh yeah, it's it's the random lights that appear. It's so obvious. 
other than that, it seems like a doable fight. Snack time. Show some style. Fight like a man. Oh, he's waving his hand. Can't go there. Oh, you have some music as well? No, we gotta go out of that. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Oh, come down. on. Stop with this. Oh, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna go into it with this uh, lock camera. It is guaranteed. Why not just open up the whole thing? I'm gonna die. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. But if you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? No! Fuck you! Block camera. You up. I'm sick of your crap. I know. Can't even go it there. Hurts, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Snack time. I definitely take that. Come on, Reed. I can't go there. Whoa, what the hell? This one is somewhat obvious. What to do? Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. No! 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 no. What the hell? What pig you? Seriously? <laughs> oh! Snack time again. Guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I think it's time to give him the all-time special. My signature move is that I take my mace and and combine it with his face. Mace face or face mace? Uh, tell me uh, which sounds better. Maybe I'm a monster. We could collaborate. No, you hunted me down. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. It's true. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. Shouldn't you just pretend? That's where you're mistaken. What Bro. do you mean? 
Okay, I spare you. Turn. Sacrifice 1000 XP in the process. I'll make you a vampire. Okay, that's interesting. What do we want to go with? Turning him might, might be equivalent of killing him because he might kill himself. Turning him does sound like a a, a, a just uh, punishment for this. I'll spare you. Sounds pretty fucking dumb. I mean, like, I get it. I get it. I'm 100% on his side. Uh, in a way that all vampires are dangerous. But in a way, so are people. <clears throat> and uh, I suppose... Like, I, I was responsible for the death of Mary, but... With the exception of that... Um... I don't think I committed an accidental death. I committed a lot of self-defense. That's for damn sure. I don't know if I can call it self-defense exclusively if I just walk up to people looking for trouble and killing them. But I suppose it's still self-defense. I think I like turning him into a vampire. Sparing him is kind of pointless. I'm gonna... I don't know. I like the idea of killing him, sparing him, and turning him. But we don't have the idea. We have we don't have the option of of killing him. The thing is, like we are kind of both right. Like he kills vampires because vampires are dangerous, or at least most of them are are pretty damn uh can be considered evil, and which is the which is the biggest one, is that even if, even the best of us, even the best vampires can be too dangerous. Like, I killed Mary, my sister, right at the very start. So I would have literally killed anybody if I couldn't even stop uh, with my sister. So... I suppose that can always happen. And, uh, that's ultimately who we are. So I understand that point. And I don't necessarily think that wiping out vampires is... is, uh, such a... <laughs> such a far-fetched, uh, goal. But it is true that, uh, some vampires are at least become better than that? I'm not sure who can judge us. But it's not necessarily the case. What happened to me is not necessarily gonna happen to all vampires. You know, maybe the, someone who gets turned into a vampire might just feed on blood and um, just, just blood that was prepared uh, and and never I uh, just take a life. At least I don't know. The thing is, I don't didn't it it's kind of not two things are the problem. I shouldn't uh make assumptions purely based on my experiences and most of all, my experiences are kind of fucked up because I didn't really have a Quote unquote normal vampire experience or a peaceful one. Uh, we did see that from Elizabeth, uh, my wife. She she tried to, well, she attempted, actually, like she managed to set up a sustainable way uh, to kind of make it work. But I'm just kind of ba basically killing street thugs. And uh, my turn was kind of a violent one. But that's not the only way. If we are talking about non-violent way to turn, and uh, and non-violent way to coexist, like for example, 
the scows can be just eating just dead bodies. So it's not necessarily violent. But I do think you're just wiping out the vampires at a, as a whole is probably a, a plus. If you're just uh, talking about morality. But it's it's still not correct. But like like imagine like you had ten guys. I told you that seven of the seven of them were uh, I don't know murderers, and you had the choice. You had the choice to, and the rest were innocent. And you had the choice. I'm just I'm just putting this uh, idea out there. Like and you had the choice. Would you let them go? Or would you kill all of them? Because that's basically what they're committing to do. They're just gonna kill everybody. And of course we don't know what kind of ratio is that. But we do know that some vampires are bad. So just like humans. And some vampires are, are trying to control it. And can be considered good. Definitely better than some humans. So there's not, it's not really black and white. They're not really mindless beasts. <clears throat> and I really shouldn't uh, generalize based on only my experience. My experience is a kind of a special one. So if I just spare you, what you will do is just go back. And uh, I don't think this is going to change a damn thing. You're just going to go back and keep killing vampires. A hover, it might... The only thing it might do is that show that not all vampires are murderous bastards. But I think it's a bit far-fetched. I think he's way too fanatic uh, for that to really do a damn thing. Making him a vampire against his will. Now that's a bit bit different. That, will, that would force him to reevaluate... The thing is, th there's nothing else that would that would change his mind more. That that's that's a bit of a crime, but I suppose at this point he kind of deserved it. In a way, it could be a blessing as well. But he's also in a position of power to maybe ch make a change. And if he became a vampire and realized that not all vampires have to be murderous bastards, I think yes, he might just kill himself. I'm I'm a little bit curious. I think the easiest choice would be just killing him. I think he's way too fanatical to ever stop. Sparing him alone might just put it as like, huh, maybe that vampire wasn't as bad. But, you know, he already spared me once. But, uh, I suppose in the, the theater. But it's it's not quite enough. He is he's wrong about how things are can we unite with the humans i don't i don't really want to turn him like thing is i don't know what kind of chance we have to really convince him because turning him seems a bit wrong and vengeful perhaps in a way more so than killing him because we are basically corrupting him to what he uh sworn to fight I don't know we should make a decision on it right now I'm tempted to spare him but I'm I'm very very uh, well very very much suspect that he's just gonna laugh in my face and run away and, and track me down and per perhaps kill me and kill the vampires so I think the only way to truly make him reconsider is uh it's just to turn him into a vampire. It could be a big, bit of a jerk move. It's definitely a bit of a jerk move. Uh, but I think that has to be done. It, it it just has to be done. And he's right. I, I probably deserve some kind of punishment, at least. And ultimately, I can never bring Mary back. In a way, I killed her twice. But, you know. I'm just trying to do a good thing now. <laughs> kill a bunch of thugs that are humping vampires, kill vampires, I do that too. And try to put an end to this, uh, 
uh, plague or sickness. So I'm gonna turn you into a vampire. Because sparing you seems uh, a little bit ineffective. Because the thing is, if I spare him, he's just gonna laugh in my face, go away, and try to kill him, kill me again. And then what? Is it really truly gonna achieve something? You know, okay, okay, I'm talking from a selfish point of view in the first place. I might just say like, you know what? I'm just gonna spare you. Like I don't really expect anything from you. I'm just gonna spare you. That's it. Uh, but he's a danger to me and and to others that I could care about. So, like Lady Ashbury, he may he may not know, but I think he does. So I think we got to turn him. It's a bit of a jerk move, but it sounds like a fun bum. You know, welcome to being a vampire. <laughs> I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! I suspected as much. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're not to be hunted. Just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed uh, my uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Okay, this is definitely more gruesome than I suspected as much. Not sure what I expected though. It definitely seemed more vengeful than enlightening. Now we're just gonna leave him alone. Welcome. But the thing is, I already also fucked up. Because the thing is, I turn him into a vampire and it's gonna be just as crazy uh, as I was when I awoke. So, what we're gonna see is that maybe this guy's gonna be locked downstairs, but also there's a pretty high chance that he's gonna find his way upstairs and kill a bunch of people in the hospital. Uh, that would be bad. Also, it's very possible that after I turn him into a vampire, He's still gonna be, well, maybe not officially a vampire hunter, or at least kill Dr. Reed Hunter. He's gonna be pretty, pretty mad. And he's gonna make it his life goal to mess me up. If, the, if there's gonna be a, a realization about the vampire existence, he's gonna have, it's gonna happen later. Uh, and not right now. You roughed up hand the uh, Swansea. I'm sorry, the whole I didn't kill him. I don't know. Not sure if I did the right thing. Not sure what. Thing is, I felt like a little bit locked into those choices, but not sure what I would have done if I had an open ended choice, like what I would have chosen. Did I just kill him? He was a danger, but also he was trying to do the right thing. What? What? No, no, Mister. I don't think so. No. Sure, do that. No! What the hell? Where the hell you came from? What the hell? Go away! More people showed up and I'm low on health? Okay. What the hell? No! No, 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 no. I'm gonna die to burn. Perfect. I wonder if I should uh, have more stun on my um, 
club. I guess it's not really good for stunning. But, but, but it's pretty damn good for killing people. Come on. Opium. I, I'll take that. Just in case, you, you never know. You might need it for the patients. No! Screw you! it up he has so ah. much stamina whoa we couldn't get any uh, blood from them this is bad thing is at this point I'm I'm relying on a biting to get blood and there's another way, we're just hitting people with the weapon. I don't have that option. Might explore it later. Whoa, what the hell? This guy has, has a lot of stamina for sure. Wait, what? Does he have a name? Lord Sheffield? What the hell are you? He has a lot of stamina. Okay. I need to bring up my health a little bit. I don't really need a lot of uh, parts right now. So. I need to rescue Swansea. Not good. Hmm. I'm really not sure about turning him. It, it felt like the wrong thing to do. Because I was... I was uh, mad at him. But also he was dangerous. Coming the wrong way again. Hey, mister. He doesn't have a lot of stamina. Can we just finish off the guy first? No, don't do that. Yep, that's the full damage. It's possible that I'm gonna make a, a secondary loadout. My weapon. Ah, well, secondary weapon loadout. Like, life stealing. Uh, Life-stealing weapon and whatnot. Or blood stealing. Oh, you wanna throw knives at me? He's gonna die fast. I'm just gonna knock him down. Yeah, the guy's gonna die. You really set me on fire. That's just beyond rude. <laughs> no. 
Maybe I should have more points at the stun with my uh, mace. Because currently it doesn't have a lot. 15 points? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But not a lot. I think you have like 30 stamina. I don't know, that, that's... Yeah, 10 stun. 15 stun. 15 stun for 40 stamina. 10 stun for 30 stamina. So this is pretty effective. But we might need more stun on it. <laughs> I don't know. But I also like doing damage. That's pretty damn good. Swan C, I'm coming! Come on. Dr. Breed. We don't have time to... Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we gotta take that one thing. Hey, mister, what's up? Yeah, just go for a snack. Real quick. Oh, you don't care about your buddy? That's okay. No. He's dead. This skill is like, uh, coagulation is a little bit like sap. You just, well, it's basically sleep or sap, whatever. It's a, it's a disable that, uh, it's a pretty potent disable for a long time. But if you hit them, then it, it gets interrupted. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Edgar! You here? I'm trying to find you! <laughs> yeah, I think you missed. What else we got here? What? Nah. I'm not gonna eat the uh, tasty rat. What? Thought I'm gonna get killed. What kind of dumbass would run around with a crossbow? By the time you lift it, you're dead. Swan C, you here? I'm looking for you. Swan C. Make some sign. I'm not sure what sign. Am I going the right way? Oh, I pulled out my weapon. Do I have anybody to fight? Whoa! I guess this guy. He's dead already. It's okay. I have to jump up. Can I jump up? Swansea, you here? Anytime now, Swansea. I know I was forgetting something. We need some kind of special sign. Like Swansea is possibly upstairs. Swansea, you here? Swansea, I'm coming for you. Damn. I don't know where are you, though. That's outside.
Do we need to go downstairs? So honestly, that's why I told you to make some noise. Nah, I just look stupid. I don't even know where to go. Yeah, he's definitely not outside. Smallsy, I'm coming for you. Apparently you're not upstairs. So I'm coming downstairs. Here we go. Oh, what? Are you back? To go this way, and we're just gonna go into the cellar. So, I'll see you here. Oh, crap! Have you guys seen Swansea? Oh, crap! No, that's all my blood and stamina. Can't lift it up. I'm gonna die. I can't even heal anymore. I just disabled that guy at first. Okay, killing that guy. That's good. I need to take some life from him. I guess it's my fault, but they're really on my case. If you're not strong enough, remember that blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. No! I refuse! I'm not gonna kill a bunch of civilians, other than maybe a few that I didn't like. But those are the ones that I, where I draw the line. Only people I don't like. And people who try to attack me. And people who... Okay, maybe I kill like one or two more people. That I need. Seriously? You load me back over here? No. I need some blood. You need to go down. I need your blood. Oh. You got tired. Oh, hey there. I need your blood. What? Stop slapping my ass. What? Oh, the game! Actually, that, we didn't even need that. Oh, what? Seriously? How rude! I was eating! Oh, never mind that. Could have taken his blood. And I also messed up. We're going the wrong way. This is the right way. Oh, snack! Come over here! I have this thirst for blood. You always say that when you kill a rat. Why though? Oh, this is how I got uh, confused last time. I just saw these guys and I'm like, oh yeah, kill him and go go on. Oh, look at that. No, 
No, don't do that. Oh yeah, this this guy. I don't even need the blood. I'm not sure about what the priest is doing. Fuck you! No, don't don't even think about it. what you get. I guess they are not wrong. The thing is, if I'm being fair, like, vampires are dangerous. This plague is dangerous. But it's still true. You can't just kill everybody. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. All the evidence? McCallum clearly knew nothing. Gather information about Swansea at work? Swansea's work? Wait, what? He must be here, right? There's, there's no one else. Swansea, you here? Oh. Seriously? No, that way. Swansea? Hey, mister. No, I don't want that. Okay, I'll just give me some blood. What is. Why am I taking so much damage? Swansea, you better be here. No, no Swansea. It's locked. Okay. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Oh, of course. I cannot enter. But Macomb was crazy. And I made him my progeny. That's, that was probably a bad call. But the choice between... The choice was sparing him and making him my progeny. Come on, you better be here. Whoa! Edgar. Edgar. Can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? There's a really high chance that uh Easy. McCallum's gonna show Easy. up as a vampire. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. McCallum's gonna be like, ho ho ho, I got something to say about that. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. It's not too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... ...dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? I put him in a somewhat... ...delicate position... ...when I made him... ...an immortal. Really? Uh you sure no. that was the wisest course of action? I would have killed him. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Are you hiding something? 
I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why accuse us of creating the epidemic? Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. Could be coincidence, but it's it's awfully convenient that uh, you and uh, well, you were there when I needed you. Not like you make a habit out of uh, spending time in a hospital. Uh, in the in, in that, I don't. Do you do you make a habit out of uh, spending time at the uh, hotel in the docks? I don't think so. What about William Marshall? What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is Prewen obsessed with him? Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. I see. Why such a reputation? Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. You gotta explain some things. I don't care if you're dying. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCollum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher's real name? Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Remember Harriet Jones? Maybe we should have read those damn books. Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Yeah, th that is a good clue. M maybe actually, was she infected? Maybe we should have read the damn book. Do we have some hints, details? Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. 
You're really trying to <coughs> drive away suspicion from this. However, it might be nothing, but it's maybe it's likely something. Don't you see the pattern? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. This is no coincidence. Come on. Now I just sound like McCullum. We need more evidence. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You! chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Why are we going to turn him? You're not going to die. Let die, you deserve it. Oh. So I, I do we let him die or we make him we we kill him <sighs> mm. come on let die i don't mess that's that's not really the option we're going to consider it can be even considered as a way to make his death uh, more painful. But I would argue at that point, he might even have a chance. Probably not. But uh, it, it's kind of uh, blends in with the other choice that we got to kill him. So both kind of lead to death. He made one mistake that he overstepped. Sacrifice three times the XP. You're not going to die. I need the XP, but yeah, I think we're gonna turn him. And you gotta fix this. Why am I making so many vampires? No, Edgar, you are not going to die. Unless you want to. What, what, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. We can always kill him later. Prepare to die and be reborn. Come on, to face an so eternity dramatic. of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> yeah, we, you're very much into that. Enough! What if I'm doing it wrong? I guess I saved Swansea. I, I'm at minus XP right now. 
Great. Prepare to fight the disaster. I really hope this minor XP, XP is gonna... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Saving people gotta help me at one point. Talk to Ashbury. I want that. I don't know where though. Oh, li Ashbury's house. Okay, we're going there. Door has been unlocked? Was it locked? I just wanna get out and talk to Lash Ashbury. Oh, there's two ways. There are two ways to get out of this place. We can use the front entrance. Or you just jump out in the back. Which is kind of dumb. Wait, am I going in circles? Let me out of this place! How do I get out? Oh. Hmm. Anyway. I can't, I can't let Swansea die just because he, he did a morally questionable thing. All he tried to do is save Harriet in a very extreme way. And that was probably the only way uh, to save, save them. I guess that's not what they sign up for, and I suppose the... Uh, what happened here was just the unfortunate consequence of that. Unintended. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.